repeaters. This dough-bake recipe is intended to make use of graham crackers that you feel they can be used for s'mores. It's delicious and very simple to make with layers of cream, condensed milk, and it's perfect for fresh ripe mangoes and of course the graham cracker. Yes, that's it. It's made only with four ingredients. But the process will take an overnight in the fridge because it's better to eat when it's already chilled. This is very similar to Italian tiramisu but it is more kids-friendly because it's coffee-free and fruit-flavored tiramisu. This is mango graham cake, also known as mango float. This cake is so popular in the Philippines, especially when mangoes are in season. I am not here to teach you how to cook, but I'm gonna show you that this dessert is so easy to bake even if you are not a cook. Grab yourself a cutting board and a sharp knife, then slice mango off the pit. Apparently, Filipino mango, aka carabao mango, is named after the animal. Or Manila mango is the sweetest mango I've ever tasted. Compare it to the other varieties that's grown in the Philippines. But when I tasted the other varieties from other countries, it really changes my mind. Or I guess Filipino mango was not available when I started working abroad. I am speaking on behalf of my mom, by the way. But if it is, it's expensive, means I am not willing to pay at a higher price. I guess we all have different taste palettes and we are always seeking change at a level of indulgence with food, which only new varieties can bring. Let me know in the comment down below what variety of mango do you have in your country that you can be proud of. I love hearing from you guys. Kensington, R2E2, and Calypso are the types of mangoes that are very popular here in Australia, which I kind of love to eat too. To remove the flesh from the peel, get a sturdy, tricky class like this one and line up the curb of the mango with the lip of the glass. Press down so the edge of the glass glides Slides in between the mango's flesh and peel. That's easy. Repeat the same procedure until the glass is full and then transfer into a bigger container. Fruitful info. The most expensive mangoes are named as Tayo no Tomago or Eggs of Sunshine that are farmed in Miyazaki Prefecture in Japan that are from Irvin Mango Variety, a type often referred to as an apple mango and it turns red when it's ripe. This pair of mangoes are sold for 500,000 yen, which is a little over 5,000 Australian dollars. Yeah, I agree with you that this type of mangoes is obviously grown in other parts of the world and sold very cheap. The Thai no Tamago is so expensive because of the care it receives. Cut into thinly slices, either horizontally or vertically. You can slice them diagonally too, your choice. Put back into the same container. Sorry, the video is out of focus. Now it's better. Hey, if you're not subscribed yet, smash the subscribe button and the bell right now so you don't miss any latest videos that we upload. Let us start to whip the cream. It can be double cream, all-purpose cream, heavy cream, or mascarpone. As for one of the jokes, it's not whipped cream until it's whipped by whips. Whipped cream isn't whipped cream at all unless it's been whipped with whips. Whichever is more accessible to you. You can use a stand or hand mixer, or you can do it by hand. Make sure that the cream is just came out of the fridge. This way, the cream will beat up so much faster. In this recipe, we want to have more stiff and stabilized cream. It's already transforming its texture, almost like an oobleck, the runny oobleck. At this point, keep an eyeball on it. Here we can see. It's now holding its shape. Observe that there's lots of definition on it. Cloudy, foamy, and frothy. Open a can of condensed milk. Slowly pour in the cream. Start with a quarter of a can. Add extra to your desired sweetness. Note, better add little by little than build your sweetness rather than adding too much in the beginning. Fold the condensed milk into the mixture using a spatula. Begin with the slow motions of scooping the spatula around the mixture into the edge of the bowl and then flip the spatula over so that tucking in all the ingredients. Then pull the spatula down the middle to evenly integrate all the ingredients. It could be a figure of eight. It's vital to do this cautiously. We don't want to break all the air bubbles that we incorporated while beating all the ingredients together beforehand. Just keep repeating the process. The ingredients are getting mixed all together properly. There you have it. That's the process on how to fold. Let's prepare the Graham crackers. We are using this takeaway container with the lid. Put a layer of cream mixture at the bottom of this container. You can use any similar container or baking dish. Then, add up a layer of cream crackers. You can slice the crackers if they exceed the unfilled space. Arrange them accordingly. Fill in the gaps with the trimmed crackers. Then, 
and top with a layer of mango slices until it covers entirely. Do not hesitate to rearrange if needed. Using a barbecue stick, slightly glide the mango slice to stuff an entire layer. Then repeat the same procedure. Have you ever thought why they call them Graham crackers? Let me tell you the horrible history of these crackers. It was named after a man named Sylvester Graham. Yay! But wait, don't be excited too much yet. Graham crackers didn't start as a sugary snack. Initially, they tasted like a cardboard consist of unbleached flour, wheat germ, and bran, and certainly no sugar. Then, the Graham cracker was born. He's a 19th century minister who believes that eating fatty food, alcohol, and meat led to lust, greed, and beep, aka crazy urges. His premise and his crackers gained popularity with his followers called themselves as Gramites. But as time goes by, his theories perceived as fanatism and sooner or later his popularity faded. He died in 1851 then Graham Graham, whatever you want to call it, crackers, tap out container to get rid of the trapped air. Commits the change, went to many alterations until National Biscuit Company, now known as Nabisco, came to and effectively sweetened the cardboard tasted cracker with honey, cinnamon, and chocolate as a flavored cracker. For the final layer, put a generous amount of whipped cream mixture, spread all over until fully covered. Flatten the surface of the cream, then set aside. In a bowl or a jar, put around 8 to 10 pieces of crackers. Break them into pieces so it will fit in this container. Crush using this rolling pin. Or you can put them in a plastic bag, then smash the crackers using an empty bottle of wine or any glass bottle. Make sure that you don't break the glass. When the crackers are already pulverized like this one, grab the mango graham and start to put the crushed graham crackers to cover the entire container. Repeat the same procedure for the rest of the cake. Set aside. And if you want to know how to cook Filipino dish in the easiest way or to know some cooking and baking, check out the rest of our videos where you can find easy recipes to try at home. Cover with the lid and then put them in the fridge. An overnight of waiting for dessert is definitely worth the wait. And let us know in the comment section what food you want us to try next or any questions, put them down below. We'll try to answer them. I love hearing from you guys. Bye bye to all of my repeaters. See you in the next videos, my dear repeaters. That is all for Coffee.